Hey there, this is part two of uh, our Nova, our uh, OpenStack S6 deployment. We've got our nodes up and running. Uh, instances are up. Now let's do something with it. So we'll do a uh, WPress back there is uh, going to be the back end MySQL database. Uh, these images that uh, the compute node images are EC2 images. They've got the uh, uh, the resource list for them. Uh, Ubuntu, it's kind of old on there. They're not synced up very well with uh, Amazon, so I'm just pulling out the repo list, putting in a new one. It's under uh, with permissions. It's under Etsy, Etsy apt sources dot list. So we made a quick backup of that. We will, and then we'll add in our new repos uh, from uh, Ubuntu 11. So. Finish this up here real quick. Let's move, make a quick backup. Name dot BK and we'll create the new one. I've already got the uh, list pasted in, so I'm just gonna paste that in. I'm do that to both the compute nodes. So after we're done with this one, I'm gonna spare you of watching it again. So I'll pause. Uh, so after we do that, we need to get our new key from Ubuntu, and then we'll run uh, apt get update to update the new source list. So let's paste in the new key. That'll generate. And then we'll update our list here real quick. I am going to pause here because this is slow on these nodes because they're a little bit short on resources. forward so uh, let's get our MySQL password in there uh, I've installed the packages for MySQL while we were doing the other so uh, that's all listed in the blog post that's corresponding with this for the package names and getting those right So anytime we make any changes to either MySQL or Apache through this, we're going to want to oh, permissions. Uh, we're going to want to restart those services also located under Etsy and at .d. Okay, there we go. Now we're in. Uh, so I'm just going to paste in. We're going to create a database, create the user, assign a password to the user, and assign permissions to that table for the user or to the database for that user. So, get a paste. So, create database, create user, set password, set permissions. And good to go, we'll exit out of that. Get Apache set up. Live demos are always fun. Uh, let's get the right uh, URL here. Make sure I got the connectivity. Yes, I'll probably typo it. Just copy and paste. There we go. I'm just pulling down the latest tar ball. And it's on tar. Directory under var www. And I'm going to 
WordPress. Copy the contents of what we just untarred over to that directory. WW WordPress. And let's uh, edit apache.conf or apache2 apache.conf. And we've got to add permissions to, for PHP at the bottom. Recognize the type. I'm by no means a web programmer. This will all be posted to uh, along with the blog, so don't worry about trying to follow too closely here. And let's sign permissions. Uh, I use 777. I don't know if uh, what the latest on that debate is, but it will work for our purposes. And we got an error going to the database. Uh, let's go back and look at our config. Uh, I think I forgot to add. Well, let's edit the MySQL configuration. I forgot to add in the bind, so you need to say what uh, what address you want to add allowed in. Now, if I can find that, I'm just going to change it as soon as I find it to 0000. zero, zero, zero. Way it'll bind any address. I could add the explicit node address just to easily we'll do the same thing. Let's come out of that, restart my SQL. And there we go. Now that should let us in. There we go. So that is uh, using a back end with the front end, so thanks.